Well, as winter continues to wrap its icy arms around us, one thing that always can warm the cockles of your heart is a lovely pie. And my next guest is not only a wonderful harness racing trainer, but also an outstanding pastry chef, and I refer to Adam Francis. Well, Adam, welcome. And I should define that previous comment about the pie. It doesn't matter what day or month of the year it is, a wonderful pie is hard to beat. Yep, absolutely. Yep. And uh, we, uh, we sell a lot of pies. Obviously, winter's our busy time, um, but, uh, yeah, we go all through the year. So. Now, you're based at Arlington, which is just outside of Newcastle. What's the name of the shop, Adam? Uh, Little Jack Horner's Bakery. Yeah. Now, what's the specialty go-to pie that, as far as winter is concerned? <laughs> um, no, we sell a lot of gourmet pies as well as traditional ones. Um, probably Stockman, Spaghetti Bowl, Sweet Chili Chicken. They're probably our most popular ones. So, so what... Virtually whatever the taste buds desire, you can provide it. Yeah, yeah, I think we've got about ooh, 24, 25 different varieties, so yeah. That's you don't just specialise in pies? Oh, that's our big go. Um, we sell mainly pies, but we also do sausage rolls, cakes and that sort of thing as well, so yeah. you got the mouth watering now. As far as you're concerned, with the pastry chef and running the business and training horses as well, 24 hours in a day, is that enough? Uh, probably not, uh, considering I work half of them. Uh, yeah, it's, it's usually sleep that misses out because I've got to work and I've got to work the horses. So, yeah, not much time left for sleep. Well, Adam, what is a typical day for a pastry chef come horse trainer? Um, I probably do a bit more than the normal one. Uh, since I own the place, I sort of try and do as much as I can myself. Uh, I usually do work six till six, six at night till six in the morning. Um, then go home, pick the horses up, uh, take them into the track, work them for a couple of hours, and then sort of come home and hopefully I'm in bed by sort of 9.30, 10 o'clock and I can get sort of six or seven hours sleep and yeah, get up and do it all again. So. What about like a day today? You've arrived here at uh, Club and Angle with one runner, so the sleep time would be cut into? Yeah, a typical day is probably sort of work 12 hours, six at night till six in the morning, um, then go home and pick the horses up and take them into the track in Newcastle and work them for a couple of hours. Then sort of get home and Hopefully get to bed by 9.30, 10 and get sort of six or seven hours sleep. A day like today would be a little bit different to that uh, particular pattern with a runner here at Club and Angle. Yeah, I don't get much sleep usually when I come down here on a Tuesday. Um, today I sort of darted home, had a couple of hours sleep, two or three hours, and had to leave a bit early today because there was a crash on the freeway, so that makes things a bit hard, but uh, we, we got here. So. And how many horses are we talking about that you work? Uh, usually about three or four. Yeah, that's sort of, that's that's more than enough. <laughs> now, Adam, you've had a busy 12 months. You got married in that particular period. Yep, yeah, got married December last year, Diana. Um, yeah, she, she was only waiting 16 years, so she's a patient girl. <laughs> um, but yeah, things went good. We were sort of lucky with the with the COVID and everything. We were sort of able to do everything we wanted to do, and um, yeah, the, the wedding was perfect, and had a good time up at Hamilton Island for our honeymoon. So yeah. Also, Adam, you've taken up golf, and to make sure you can get as much time on the golf course as you possibly can, you've teamed up with your father-in-law. Yep, yeah, no, I, I used to play a lot of golf as a young bloke, and then sort of the next sort of 20 years, just sort of every now and then, but no, last year I sort of got back into it again and joined the local club, and uh, yeah, every Saturday I play with Yana's dad and a couple of his mates, and yeah, it's a good excuse. I sort of, I can't get in trouble for being out if I'm out with, with her old man, so that's good. <laughs> Now, you give very few days off, but you do just like to set aside a little bit of time at the end of the year, in particular back in 2013, the Boxing Day test. Yep, yeah, no, I, we shut the shop for two or three weeks at, the, at Christmas, um, that's sort of pretty much my only time off. Um, and yeah, I sort of, I've got a couple of mates that we sort of try and go away somewhere or do something with them. Um, we have been to the Boxing Day test a couple of times and hopefully this year we're thinking about going up to Brisbane for a couple of days, so yeah, that should be good. Have you always had some nice horses in your team, Teasing and Grins Made of Blue, for instance, and also Coringa Delight? Yeah, yeah, no, we've been sort of lucky. We've always sort of had one that'll sort of win a race every now and then, which sort of makes it a bit more enjoyable. Um, and yeah, I've also had a sort of couple of horses that I've had to sort of send abroad to sort of for them to earn as well. Sun Samurai won 14 races and he was down in Victoria a lot of that time, but uh, yeah, no, we've sort of we've had a pretty good run, so yeah. And um, these days you prefer not to jump in the sulky? No, I, probably the last sort of four or five years I haven't driven much. Um, I do enjoy it. Um, I, I love driving, but uh, yeah, I think it's a sort of, it's a bit of a young man's sport these days, I think. I sort of, I want, 
I won a I won a race on my first night driving um, back in 2007. But uh, yeah, no, nah, it's sort of I just prefer to train now. I think. Yeah, so. Well, we just let our viewers know one more time exactly where they can find Little Jack Horner. Yeah, Little Jack Horner's Bakery. It's uh, on Lake Road, Argenton. Um, it's open 24 hours a day, six days a week. So there's always someone there doing something. We'll be able to sell you pie. And the Adam Francis first and special as far as the pies are concerned. Uh, I don't know. It's a big one. Uh, probably sweet chili chicken. Yeah, that's probably mine. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Thank you.